Let's be real, building an iOS app solo is a puzzle, not just technically, but mentally too. You're not just coding, you're planning, you're designing, you're naming things, managing scope, second guessing decisions, trying not to overbuild, all while making sure it still feels like your app, not just something AI spit out. That's why I started developing this routine for using Cursor AI, not just using it to answer coding questions, but actually turning it into a real partner in my workflow. One that feels like it's building with me, not just for me. This whole video is a breakdown of how I do that. Not once I'm already in Xcode, but before. When the project is still an idea, when I'm trying to decide what to build, and more importantly, why. Hey, I'm Daniel. This is Solo Swift Crafter. I build apps solo using Swift UI, Xcode, Cursor, Claude, and a mix of AI tools. And here I share the stuff that helps me build faster without losing clarity. So let's walk through how I supercharge Cursor AI for my solo dev projects, from first idea to clear strategy. It starts with this. I don't treat Cursor like a code generator. I treat it like a collaborator. And for that to work, it needs the same thing a teammate would need, context. That's where my PMR comes in. PMR stands for product market requirements. It's a fancy term, but in my world, it just means here's what I'm trying to build, here's who it's for, and here's why it matters. This isn't just a feature list, it's a vision. And when I put the time into writing it, I find everything else becomes easier. So how do I write it? First, I brain dump the core idea, usually out loud. I use voice GPT and talk while walking or cleaning up or doing something where I'm not staring at a screen. I explain the app like I'm describing it to a friend, what it does, why I think it matters, what kind of people I see using it. And honestly, uh, this part is kind of fun. It's just me rambling in the notes app or into voice GPT, trying to get a sense of what I care about. There's something low pressure about it. I'm not trying to be smart or polished. I'm just exploring. Then I ask GPT to help me pull a short mission out of that, something focused, something like uh, create a sessions tab that allows users to easily launch or build focused time management workflows. And I follow that with a goal. The goal is to provide a frictionless experience with delightful visuals and persistent access to active sessions. Once I've got that, I start poking at it. I go back and forth with GPT colon. What kind of UX flow makes sense? Where might users get stuck? What does friction look like here? Sometimes I'll challenge its assumptions like, hey, are we assuming people want a timer? or are we giving them options, that kind of stuff. It becomes a kind of design jam with GPT as the co-host. I do this in Canvas or a long thread. I wanna stress test the idea before I write a single line of Swift. Then I sketch, really rough. I use Figma, but only for layout and flow, not for style, just boxes and arrows. I'm not trying to make something pretty. I'm trying to understand how it works. All of that becomes my PMR. I paste it into Notion along with the sketches, and that becomes my reference for the whole project, not just for me, but for any tool I use, especially cursor, because now when I go to write my cursor rule, I'm not guessing, I'm not winging it. I have a real sense of what I want help with and what I want to decide myself. So let's talk about that rule. The cursor rule is the script I give to cursor AI at the start of every new project. It tells it who I am, what we're building, and how I want to work together. Here's an example of how I start. Act as a senior Swift UI developer and product lead. We're building a productivity app for iOS 18 using the SLC approach. And then I go deeper. I tell it what tech stack I'm using, Swift UI, core data, maybe CloudKit. I tell it how I want the app to feel, what tone to take in suggestions, and this part is key, I tell it what not to do. Like, don't over-engineer, keep scope tight. If I ask for something vague, ask me to clarify. And yeah, the first time you write one of these, it might feel weird, like, am I really writing a letter to an AI? But honestly, 
Um, it works. It changes the dynamic. Cursor starts to feel lush, less like a tool and more like a coworker who's actually paying attention. This rule becomes uh, the voice of the project. And the clearer it is, the more Cursor feels like a teammate who gets it, not just a bot that fills in blanks. Once that's done, I do something that's been a game changer. I split the app into three big sections, not based on screens, based on user flows. Like for my time tracker app, the three might be starting and managing sessions, customizing workflows, reviewing stats and progress. Each of those becomes its own mini roadmap. I build those out one by one. Again, with GPT, I say, based on this PMR and this cursor rule, help me outline the core features and flow for section one. Nah. And we go deep. I ask questions, push back, iterate until we have something that feels focused and real. Then I save each section into Notion, not to share, not to publish, just for me. It's my private product doc. When I get stuck or overwhelmed or tempted to add random features, I come back to it. And from there, I'm ready to open cursor and start building. But now when I ask for help, whether it's writing a view model or debugging a combine issue or structuring navigation, I'm not just throwing random prompts into the void. I'm working with a partner that knows the project, the plan and the vibe. And that's how you make AI tools actually helpful, not by asking better questions, but by giving better context because when cursor knows what i'm building why i'm building it and how i want it to feel everything gets easier the swift ui is tighter the logic is cleaner the ux feels more aligned and i stay focused i don't waste time chasing ideas that don't fit the vision i don't burn out rewriting code that didn't need to exist i move forward with way more confidence this is the flow that's helped me most and i hope it helps you too if you want a deep dive into how I actually write my cursor rule line by line, let me know in the comments. Or if you want to see how I map out those three roadmap sections with GPT, I can share my templates. And in the next video, I'll show you how I take all this prep and actually start building the first real screen inside cursor from planning to production Swift code. So if you're curious, how to go from strategy to build without losing your vision, stick around. And if you're not subscribed yet, now's a good time to hit that button. I'm Daniel, this is Solo Swift Crafter, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.